The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to your distant learning program. I am Tambe Emmanuel, your Form 3 history teacher. Today, we are going to begin with a new lesson. But before we go to that, it is important that we correct our assignment. Why was Britain reluctant to annex Cameroon? Britain was reluctant to annex Cameroon because Britain felt that she had enough colonies already in Africa, especially with the occupation of territories like Gold Coast and Nigeria. Britain equally complained of inadequate funds. Since Britain did not want to increase the tax burden of her citizens, Britain again was facing the problem of personnel in Africa. They had limited personnel to be able to carry administrative duties in Africa, especially Cameroon. Especially when most of the British were afraid of the diseases in Africa like malaria and typhoid and yellow fever. Britain also had too much confidence over Cameroon especially when Britain already um, had other activities in Cameroon, like missionary activities and trade. So she never foresaw any eventuality of any other country coming to annex Cameroon. So this made her to be reluctant. Britain was also afraid of hostile tribes that were in Cameroon. So she felt that it will cost her much to be able to fight wars to suppress such hostile tribes. Because of this, the British were reluctant to annex Cameroon. Again, Britain was only interested in trade in Cameroon. And at the time, her trade was declining. So this made her reluctant to annex Cameroon. <laughs> Let us now go to our lesson of the day. As you can see there, lesson six. Why and how the Germans annex Cameroon? Before we answer that question or tackle this lesson, we should look at the plan of action for today. Lesson overview, as you can see there, we have learning objectives, previous knowledge, real life situation, learning activities, application exercises, and assignment. Now, on the learning objectives, by the end of this lesson, you are required to state the reasons for German annexation of Cameroon and equally describe how the Germans annexed Cameroon. Now, with respect to our previous knowledge, um, I want to acknowledge the fact that you are already conversant with the motives for European scramble for Cameroon, which were political, economic, and social. And equally, uh, why Britain was locked down to annex Cameroon, 
something we just revised as part of our assignment. Now, consider this real life situation. Just look at your screen. Consider this real life situation. Your father's neighbor has a fertile farm which is not being exploited. What action will you advise your father to take? Again, your father's neighbor has a fertile farm which is not being exploited. What action will you advise your father to take? Good. As far as how and why the Germans annexed Cameroon is concerned, our introductory part of this lesson, we need to let you know that before the Germans, before 1884, Germany was not interested in acquisition of colonies. Germany had a negative position. Bismarck was not in support of the idea of colonial acquisition. Her interest was to occupy European territories. However, from 1884, Germany, under Otto von Bismarck, changed her position from a non-colonial position to a colonial position. So finally changed her position in favor of colonies. Why Germany annexed Cameroon? The first reason why Germany annexed Cameroon was because of British reluctance. Despite several letters written by the Cameroonian chiefs inviting the British to annex Cameroon, they never cared. The letters fell on deaf ears. This made the Germans to take advantage to annex Cameroon. Therefore, the British reluctance encouraged the Germans to annex Cameroon. The influence of German pressure groups. At the time, Germany had some pressure groups, especially the Jardin and Tomalin firms that were doing business at the coast of Cameroon. These groups, like the German traders, put pressure on the German government to annex Cameroon. This encouraged the Germans to finally annex Cameroon. German intrigues. The Germans played intrigues on the British government by making them to believe that they were only interested in promoting German trade in Cameroon. This explains why they even asked Nashtiga, they asked the British government in Cameroon, British traders in Cameroon, to collaborate with Nashtiga to be able to study the extent of German trade in Cameroon, not knowing that the Germans were going to bypass the British to annex Cameroon. German traders also offered better credit facilities to the Cameroonian natives at the time. So this made them favor German annexation. The British were not aware of German interests. They thought that the Germans were only interested in business in Cameroon and nothing else. So this made them to go into sleep while the Germans bypassed them to annex Cameroon. The British or the, the natives along the coast of Cameroon at the time were also indebted to the German traders, especially the kings. They already collected goods and other things from the Germans. So the only solution to be able to write off their debt was to accept German annexation. There was also the logic of the gunboat diplomacy. The German took advantage of their large sized boat called Moe to frighten the natives who quickly uh, had the impression that they would be, they would, they would, they would be better uh, they, would, they would be uh, better handled by the Germans than the British. Now look at the document in front of you, titled Document 1, the Moe. The Moe was a German ship, a German boat.
Look at the question in front of you. Identify the object on document one. What was it used for? What role did it play in the eventual German annexation of Cameroon? Let us go back to document one. Look at the document again. The question read, identify the object on document one. As we can see, what was it used, what was it used for? What role did it play in the eventual annexation of Cameroon? Now look at the answers. Question one, identify the object on the document on document one. The answer is a boat, ship, gunboat, or warship. Any of this answer is accepted. Question two. What role, what was it used for? What was it used for? It was used for transportation of people, goods, and war equipment. Question three. What role did it play in the eventual German annexation of Cameroon? Its size created a positive impression in the minds of the chief. It frightened, it frightened the chiefs to hand their territory to the Germans. Now, under part two of our lesson, how Germany annexed Cameroon? How Germany annexed Cameroon? These are the stages through which Germany annexed Cameroon. It started with Bismarck change of mind. Bismarck decided at the end of 1883 to go for colonies in Africa. It is important to note that at the beginning, Bismarck was not interested in colonial acquisition. Her interest was to occupy Europe. That's why he instead encouraged other European countries to come to Africa. However, by 1883, as a result of pressure from the German government and German groups, Bismarck decided to change her mind. And in February 1884, he sent Dr. Gustav Nachtschiger to West Africa. It is important also to know that Nazi's mission to West Africa was not known to him until when she arrived when he arrived Lisbon. At Lisbon, Nazi was asked to annex Cameroon. And in the process, Adolf Woman sent a confidential letter. Adolf Woman sent a confidential letter asking the German agents in Cameroon to collaborate with Nashtigal in the eventual annexation of Cameroon. In April 1884, the British government decided to annex Cameroon. In April 1884, the British government made up her mind also to annex Cameroon. And in the process, they decided to send Consul Hewitt. Consul Hewitt was sent to accomplish the mission of annexation. Hewitt passed through Nigeria and dispatched Captain Brook to Batanga area. He was accompanied by Captain Brook and Captain Moore. So when he got to Nigeria, he asked Captain Brook and Captain Moore to move down Batanga area, Malimba Campo area, to be able to negotiate annexation treaties with the chief. Why in Batanga, Brook learned of German intention to annex Cameroon? And he quickly dispatched Captain Moore to inform the Dwala kings to wait for Hewitt, who was in Nigeria. 
So why Batanga? Why in Batanga, Captain Brook learned of German intention to annex Cameroon. So he sent one of his uh, uh, his, his his companies to Douala to discuss with the chiefs of Douala to wait a little bit for Hewitt, who was still in Nigeria. Naftiga arrived Cameroon on July 11, 1884. The following day, he was before then he was accompanied by Hermobius and Dr. Max Bushner, just like he went was accompanied by um, uh, Herm, he went was accompanied by Captain Brook and Captain Moore. Nastika was equally accompanied by Hermobius and Dr. Max Bushner. The following day, two documents were signed, known as the Preliminary Treaty and the German Odwala Treaty. The two documents were signed, known as the Preliminary Treaty and the German Odwala Treaty. The Preliminary Treaty, also known as the King's Memorandums, contained the wishes of the Dwala chiefs at the time in which they wanted the Germans to respect. As you can see on the board, the first of those wishes was the right to third party and previous treaties signed be respected. The right to own land, towns, domestic animals are not taxed on them. The right to respect the traditional system of marriage. The right to freedom of arbitrary arrest, beating and detention. No one was to take another man's wife, else a heavy fine. Respect for the right to middleman monopoly. It was signed for Germany by Amy Schultz in the morning of July 12, 1884. These were the wishes of the Cameroonian chiefs. Now, look at document two. As you can see, that is King Aqua and his wives. King Aqua and his wives. Some questions are going to follow the document in front of you. Equally look at document three, King Bell sitting against a wall. King Bell sitting against a wall. In case you come across any photograph of this nature, know that King Bell was sitting against a wall with his back leaned on the wall. Now look at the questions in front of you. What is the origin of the title borne by the personality in document two and three above? What is the origin of the title they bear? What is the origin of the title borne by the personality in document two and three above? Question two, what clan did the personality in document two represent? Question three, what role did they play in the German annexation of Cameroon? Answer, its origin is Britain. What is the origin of the title born by the personality in document two and three? Answer. Its origin is Britain. Question two. What clan did the personality in document two represent? The answer is the Aqua clan in Douala. Question three. What role did they play in the German annexation of Cameroon. 
They were principal signatories of the German Odwala Treaty for the Cameroonian side. So King Aqua and King Bell were the principal signatories of the German Odwala Treaty. Now, let us look at the German Odwala Treaty, meaning the final treaty per se. This one now is not the wishes of the Cameroonian kings. This is the final treaty, what, the, what both parties agreed at. The German Odwala Treaty terms. The first term there is, the territory named Cameroon was geographically determined. There was a limit drawn on the map of Douala to where the territory will begin and where it will end. The origin, the right of sovereignty, legislation and administration were ceded to private German firms with the following reservations. The right of the third party were reserved. Former treaties of friendship and commerce were to remain in force. The land of the towns and villages was to remain the private property of their natives. The chiefs were to continue to levy their dues as formerly. The natives were to retain for the present their custom and usages. The treaty was signed for Cameroonians by King Aqua and Bell. On the side of the Germans by Edward Schmidt, Johannes Voss, and Edward Woman and Herr Bush. King Aqua and King Bell received gifts in kind and in cash for signing the treaty. The treaty was signed in the afternoon of July 1884. The afternoon of 12 July 1884. On Monday, July 14, 1884, Nashtiga officially hoisted the German flag. On July 15, 1884, the British were officially informed of German annexation. And on July 19, 1884, he had arrived Cameroon late. Now, at the end of the German Dwellers Treaty, a number of reactions were noticed. Reactions of the German annexation of Cameroon. The reactions were mixed. Some supported, others resisted. A, the French reaction. The French, though surprised, readily accepted the German annexation. They consider it, they consider it as a victory over the British. B. The British reaction. Heward was shocked and tried in vain to persuade Dwala kings. He addressed letters of disappointment and betrayal. The British, with the help of missionaries and explorers, signed treaties with other coastal people. Let us look at these application exercises. Answer the following questions. Question 1. Write down the date, month, and year Germany annexed Cameroon. Question 2. What major role did the German Chancellor play in the annexation of Cameroon? Question 3. Arrange the following events concerning the stages of German annexation of Cameroon in order. Question 4. What two reasons? State two reasons for German annexation of Cameroon. So we'll go now to the answers. 
Answers. 12 of July, 1884. Answer to question 1. Let us go to the question again. Write down the month, write down the date, month and year, Germany annex Cameroon. The answer is 12 July, 1884. Question 2. What major role did German Chancellor play in the annexation of Cameroon? He sent Nashtiga to annex Cameroon for the Germans. Question 3. Arrange the following events concerning the stages of German annexation of Cameroon in order. We can see the letter of Adolf Woman, Nashtiga arrival in Lisbon, Bismarck change of mind, Nashtiga arrival in Cameroon. So, if we go back, we consult our table on the stages of German annexation, we'll find out that the best order there is, it begins with three. What is three saying? This marked change of mind will, will be our first stage, the first action that was taken by the Germans to annex Cameroon. Let us look at the second action. It says two. What is two saying? Nashtiga arrival in Lisbon. All right, Nashtiga arrival in Lisbon. Okay. And then one. What is one saying? Letter of Adolf Woman. Adolf Woman wrote a confidential letter. Okay. And what is the last, the last stage on our four? What is four saying? Nashtiga arrival in Cameroon. So this is the answer to question three. Let us go to question four. State two reasons for German annexation of Cameroon. The British reluctance, or the British were reluctant to annex Cameroon. So the Germans were encouraged to annex Cameroon. The Germans made use of tricks to be able to annex Cameroon. The Germans made use of gunboat diplomacy to frighten the natives to annex Cameroon. And there was also a major role that was played by German pressure groups, especially the German traders like the Janssen and Tom firm, by writing letters and pressurizing the German government to annex Cameroon. Now look at these references. They may help you to better improve on your knowledge about this topic and to be able to do the assignment I am going to give you after this. Assignment. What were the criticisms of the Germanodwala Treaty? What were the criticisms of the Germanodwala Treaty? After that, you should be prepared for our next lesson which reads, Attitude of the Coastal Kings towards the Scramble and Annexation of Cameroon. <laughs>